Have you ever stood by the ocean, felt the spray on your face, and wondered, why is it so salty? Especially when the rain that falls from the sky is completely fresh. Did someone just decide to dump a giant salt shaker into the sea? Well, not exactly, but the real story is even more fascinating. It's a tale that stretches back millions, even billions, of years, and it all starts on land. Imagine rain falling from the sky. As this rainwater travels over the land, it's not just flowing over the surface. It's actually a tiny bit acidic, enough to slowly, ever so slowly, wear down the rocks it passes over. Think of it as a super slow-motion natural chemical reaction. As the rocks break down, they release all sorts of tiny particles called minerals. Among these minerals are two very important ones, sodium and chloride. You might know them better by their combined name, salt. These minerals get washed into streams and rivers. And where do all rivers eventually lead? That's right, the ocean. So, for millions and millions of years, rivers have been acting like a giant delivery service, constantly carrying this mineral mix into the sea. But here's the crucial part of the story. When the sun heats the ocean's surface, water evaporates, rising up to form clouds and eventually falling back down as rain. It's the planet's amazing water cycle. But when the water evaporates, it leaves something behind. You guessed it, the salt. The minerals are too heavy to evaporate with the water, so they stay in the ocean. Imagine this process happening continuously over eons. The water leaves, the salt stays. The rivers bring more salt, the water leaves, that salt stays too. Over an immense time scale, this has made the oceans incredibly salty. Just how salty are we talking about? On average, if you took one liter of seawater, you'd find about 35 grams of dissolved salts in it. That's like stirring a heaping tablespoon of salt into a large glass of water. Here, that's a mind-blowing fact to put it in perspective, if you could somehow remove all the salt from all the oceans and spread it evenly across all the land on Earth. It would create a layer over 500 feet thick. That's taller than a 40-story building. So, the next time you take a dip in the ocean or just watch the waves crash on the shore, remember what you're tasting and seeing. It's not just water. It's a liquid history book, a salty reminder of a timeless, natural process, rain, rocks, rivers, and the sun, all working together for millions of years. It's a taste of the Earth's incredible chemistry. Thanks for joining me on this salty journey. If you enjoyed this and want to learn more cool facts about our planet, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures. See you next time.